y'all welcome back to Christy's cooking channel today I just want to do a quick video showing you my new Paula Dean 9.5 quart air fryer as you can see for yourself this thing is huge I used to have the cook's essential 12 quart air fryer about three years ago but it wasn't the type that had the basket but uh, this is the largest one that I've had as far as the basket goes Anytime I get a new air fryer, I like to try out french fries first, and I'm just going to go by the recipe that come with the air fryer just to see how good it does. It just says to take two russet potatoes, peel and cut into fries, and then you need to soak the cut potatoes in a bowl for at least 15 minutes, which I've already done that. Pat the potatoes dry with paper towels. Place fries in the air basket in a single layer, no crowding, and then close the basket. Set the temperature for 320 degrees for 10 minutes. This is to remove all the moisture from the fries. That's what I'm going to do. I'll insert a little clip to show you how I use my french fry cutter, but I've already soaked these and I've already patted them dry. Put them in a single layer is definitely no problem considering how huge this is. It actually looks like I don't even have any fries, but those were two good sized potatoes right here. All right, I'm right-handed, but let me see if I can do this with the left hand here. All right, that was easy enough. I got it at 320, and I'm gonna turn it for 10 minutes. It's not super loud, but of course it's not silent either. Uh, one good thing is it doesn't have any weird smells like a lot of new appliances have. You know, they'll have that uh, burnt plastic smell. No smells at all. As far as touching it, you can touch it here. It's warm. Of course, down here, as you touch it, it gets hot, but it's not burning your hand. You wouldn't want to keep your hand at the very back where the little exhaust fan is. So far, loving it. a few minutes to go I just wanted to open it up one good thing I like about Paula's is when you open up the drawer it shuts off a couple of them like the Phillips I had it for a little while and it would continue to run and heat up and the fan would blow even when the drawer was open now the timer will still continue which is fine you can adjust it but I just want to see how it looked and you can tell they're uh, definitely drying out the way they're supposed to so I'm going to go ahead and stick it back in. Alright, it had another minute or so. I went ahead and pulled it. I'm impatient. Alright, now it says on here to uh, when cook time is complete, spray with oil, sprinkle with salt, and close basket. Easy enough. Set temperature to 400 degrees and set timer for 10 more minutes. Shake occasionally, adding more spray if you like. I have several type of sprayers. I have the EVO and then I have a little mister. But I'm just going to use some Pam coconut oil spray. It, I just like the little fine mist that it sprays out. Just use whatever you like. a little bit of this pink Himalaya salt and herb blend. Just add whatever you like. I don't think I sprayed enough oil. It's not sticking to the uh, 
fries. All right, we can always salt it more when they come out. This just gives us an idea how they're gonna taste. All right, it's definitely not gonna take the full 10 minutes, I don't believe. And just to let you know, you don't have to do the fries in a single layer. I've cooked uh, fries in even a small little three quart. As long as you take them out and shake them regular, it'll be fine. But this is just a test to see how they turn out. They're already getting crispy. Also want to say real quick, the fry cutter that I have is set for a quarter inch. So if you had smaller fries, these would cook even much faster, probably twice as fast. All right, we're getting some color. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not. I'm having to do everything with my left hand. My plug-in is over here on the right, so it's the only way I can show it. They're smelling amazing. They're getting crispy, but we need a little bit more color. Let's spread it out a little bit. Getting down to the minutes. Oh yeah. It's so bright in here. I hope you can tell. Give them another flip. They are actually taking the 10 minutes. Of course, the timer still goes when I take it out, but that's because these are large cut fries. You can definitely hear how crispy they are. I'm gonna let them cool off and give them a try. Here's a little bit close up of them. It's pretty bright in here, but uh, they are golden brown the way I like them. You can get yours a lot more crispier. I kind of like mine crispy, but I like the thick cut because I like them kind of soft in the middle too. And these are very hot. While these fries are cooling, I just want to take a quick minute to mention that I absolutely love the 8.5 Paula Deen that I have. It'll be two years old this uh, August. I use it at least four to five times a week, if not more. I know a lot of people have said that they've heard, uh, you know, people have had problems with it. Well, unfortunately, that's just the case with any appliance. There's appliances that people love and rave about that I have not been able to use or keep. I've had to send it back because I've had issues with them. And uh, it's just one of those things, I guess it's just the luck of the draw. This one here, uh, of course, it may not last. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna use it often. And um, I'll definitely keep you posted if I have any issues with it. All right, I can't wait any longer. Let me go ahead and see if I can take a little bite here. Mm. Oh yeah. Like I said, you can get these a whole lot more crispy if you like, but I purposely got the quarter inch cut because I like mine. I like them brown, but I like them soft in the middle. Oh yeah. Mm, delicious. The smaller ones, of course, they'll be crispy. If that's what you like. Mm. Perfect. This is sold just at Amazon. I'll put all the information in the description box. And so far, it's a winner with me. I just, I mean, the size of the basket alone and the fact that it's ceramic makes it so easy to clean up, just like the other Paula Deen I have. So I'm already sold just on how good it did with the fries. Can't wait to use it more. And there you have it. Thanks a lot.